Question 2a, we're asked to solve the equation 6 cos squared theta plus sine theta is equal to 4. Um, now, because we already have a sine theta there, um, we need to remove the cos squared theta. Um, we need to remember our identity, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1, meaning that rearranging cos squared theta is equal to 1 minus sine squared theta. So substituting in, we have 6 brackets 1 minus sine squared theta plus sine theta is equal to 4. Expand our brackets, 6 minus 6 sine squared theta plus sine theta is equal to 4. And then uh, taking everything over to the right hand side, rearranging, we should get 6 sine squared theta minus sine theta minus 2 is equal to 0. This should factorise um, into two brackets. And looking at this, we can see we'd have 3 sine theta minus 2 and 2 sine theta plus 1. Then all we need to do is work out the values of sine theta that satisfy the equation. So sine theta is equal to 2 thirds in the first bracket, that make it equal to 0. And sine theta is equal to minus a half in the second bracket. So if we examine our first uh, value of theta, sine theta is 2 thirds, the first value of theta would generate is 41.81 degrees. At this stage, let's just draw a quick sketch of a sine wave, just so we can look at the symmetry of the graph. So here's 180, here's 360. So 41.84 or 2 thirds is here. And we can see from the symmetry of the graph, the other value that would satisfy that equation would be 180 minus 41.81, which is 138.19 degrees. Our second value of theta of minus a half will generate an initial value of 210 degrees. That would be approximately here. And again, we'd generate a second value there, which would be 30 degrees back from 360, which is 330 degrees.